Good afternoon, everybody. Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. I have a wonderful update for you guys. I think everybody's going to really like this. This is amazing. I just have made a couple connections here, and uh, oh, I'm really, really excited about this one, guys. Okay, Daniel chapter 12. The very end of the book of Daniel. Let's read 12 and 13 together. It says, Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Okay. Remember that when we came to the end of the 1,335 days from the abomination, we were brought to November 17th, 2016, and that was the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign when Jupiter was just entering Virgo. Okay, it was also the day of the flood, the second month and the 17th day of the Hebrew calendar since uh, October 1st, October 2nd of 2016 was the Feast of Trumpets. And so we were looking at the calendar of Noah back at the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign. It was connected to the, the Revelation 12 sign, 17th of November, 2016. Let me uh, pause this and I'll, I'll, do up a, uh, I'll do up a diagram here for you guys. Okay, so remember we were watching the Abomination of Desolation and the uh, timeline of the book of Daniel from March 22nd, 2013 at 1,335 days and we come to November 17th, 2016. This was the day that the Revelation 12 sign began as Jupiter was just entering Virgo. It was also Chess Van 17 on the Hebrew calendar, which is 217. So the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign had everything to do with the 1,335 days. It also had to do with the uh, with the beginning of the flood, the, the, uh, the 17th day of the second month, okay? And this is what we were watching for, and since we don't know what calendar uh, we, you know, Noah used in his day, it, all it says is that it's the uh, 17th day of the second month. And so we were watching that and we had made these connections. Okay, well, let's look more at what the, the text says as we're looking at this. Okay, so blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the three, to the, to the 1,335 days, but go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days. <laughs> wow. Okay, so we wait until the time of the end, and then the end will come, and it will be a time of rest. The end will come. When the end comes, it will be a time of rest. Okay? Now, if we go and we look at this in the Interlinear Bible, we'll see that the uh, word rest is this number 5117, Strong's Hebrew 5117, to rest. Let's go here. And let's see how uh, this word rest, it's the word nuach, 5117. To rest, it's used 67 times. Okay, if we go look at the word nuach, we'll see that the first use of this word nuach, rest, is has to do with the ark resting upon the mountains. And the ark rested in the seventh month. The ark rested. In the seventh month, okay, Genesis 8, 4, right here we see, this is all connected, 
This is the first usage of the word nuach, 5117. Okay? So the book of Daniel, when it talks about resting, there's a connection to the word nuach. It has to do with the ark resting. Okay? And then if we look up the name Noah, the, the name Noah is Noach, 5146. The word Noah, the name Noah means to rest. Noah, resting, the patriarch who survived the flood, 5146, Noach. Compare that to 5117, Nuach. <laughs> okay, so when Daniel is talking about resting, it has to do with the flood. It has to do with Noah. It has to do with Nuach. It has to do with Noach. Noah. Okay? So, just as we saw here at November 17th, 2016, the beginning of the Revelation 12 sign, the 1335 days, just as Jupiter was entering Virgo, that was chess van 17, the day the, no, the, the flood began. So the whole passage of Daniel connects us by this word rest. The 1,335 days, the Revelation 12 sign is all connected. It's all connected. Okay? It's all connected to Noah. The 1,335 days, the resting, the Revelation 12 sign, it's all right here connected. Okay? Let's take a look at one more thing here. Okay, and then after we came to the end of the Revelation 12 sign on September 23rd, then from there we add 153 days to come to February 23rd, 2017. 2018, sorry. 2018, February 23rd, 2018. Let me change that. Okay, now what did we what did we see on February 16th? What did we see on February 16th? It was the the winter storm Noah, okay? Winter storm Noah arrived on February 16th. So how many days from September 23rd to February 16th? Let's do the math here. Okay, so we have 153 days, 153 days until February 23rd. And if we take seven days off of that, we get 146 days. Look at the number of Noah. It's 5146. Noah's number is 5146. And from the September 23rd to the winter storm Noah, it's 146 days. And then we have our seven-day warning bringing us to February 23rd, the end of the 153 days. Now let me remind you what we've seen with the 153 days leading us to today. The first thing we, we have seen is that the sign plus 153 days brings us to February 23rd, 2018. We've also seen that this February 23rd is the middle marker in between the Trump Declaration, December 6th, and May 14th, the rebirth anniversary of Israel, February 23rd. There's already been an event today about the Embassy of Jerusalem. So the, this date has been fulfilled today, this middle marker, okay? Then we have... From the solar eclipse on March 20th, 2015, 153 weeks, exactly to the day, bringing us to February 23rd. Okay, 
March 20th, 2015, 153 weeks to the day, brings us to February 23rd. The seven-day warning from February 16th, which is 146 days from the Revelation 12 sign. And it brings us to our final 153, 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, that there is a call today for worldwide fasting and prayer for peace and safety. 1 Thessalonians 5, 3, 153, the 153 fish. Our three confirmations of 153 leading us to February 23rd. And this is all connected to the flood and Noah and the rest. It all has to do with Noah and the rest. But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest. It shall stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Let's read this verse in a number of translations. Go thou way the till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and shalt stand in thy lot at the end of the days. But as for you, Daniel, go your way until the end of your life, for you will rest and rise again for your allotted inheritance at the end of the age. But you, Daniel, who was now over 90 years of age, Go your way until the end, for you shall rest, shall stand fast in your allotted place at the end of the days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of the days. Remember, Jesus said that his coming will be as in the days of Noah and Lot. <laughs> in the days of Noah and Lot, in the days of resting and you will come to your lot the days of noah and lot right here guys daniel chapter 12 verse 13 gives us a key it's the key is the rest the key is noah 51:17 new watch new watch this is connected to Noah, which is Noach. Nuach, Noach. Nuach, Noach. And it brings us to the 153 fish. It's all connected from the timeline of Daniel, the, the uh, time frame of the abomination of desolation, the 1,335 days bringing us to November 17th, the 153 days bringing us to February 23rd, and Noah's number bringing us to the winter storm Noah on February 16th, plus our seven day warning to February 23rd. All right, guys, stay ready. This may be the day we may be out of here in the next couple hours. I just, all I can tell you right now is I'm just sharing what the Lord shows me. It's pretty big, it's getting pretty incredible. All right, guys, I pray you guys are blessed. See you soon. Let's go. Let's go home, guys. It's time. Let's go. Thank you, Jesus. Amen.